So here is the Visionary Digital Soulmate Transilluminator, which basically acts as a microscope base for imaging uh, specimens on microscope slides or other very small specimens or something that you need to show the see-through quality of that specimen. So the Soulmate is used in conjunction with fiber optics. Um, so here I have three fiber optic cables, two shorter and then one longer. And generally um, I hook up a shorter fiber optic cable with the Soulmate. So when you have, say, um, if you need, say, a fiber optic cable over here, you can use a longer one and it can reach um, to the right side of the, um, the Soulmate. So first off, um, let's go ahead and attach a fiber optic cable into the intensity control of the Soulmate. And make sure if you see a little gap of silver, make sure that the intensity control is completely tightened onto the rest of the Soulmate. Insert the end of the fiber optic cable into the intensity control and tighten the thumb screw which is in the back. So now the fiber optic cable is connected to the rest of the Soulmate. So now let's go over other components of the Soulmate. So on the intensity control, you can see um, closer to you is a plus sign, so um, light is more intense closer to you, and as you push the dial farther away, the light will become less intense on the specimen. Next to the intensity control is a light filter which allows, um, if in, will allow for more diffuse, less intense light, um, which, so you can either leave it in or out depending on what you're working with. And then next to the light filter is an aperture control. Closer to you, the aperture is more open, which means there's a wider area for light to go through to hit the specimen. And as you move the dial further away, like intensity, the light will be Will, the light will go through a narrower air, uh, a narrower diameter. In the center bottom portion of the Soulmate is the trans field, and just generally keep it in the center. Um, uh, the actual controls are in the back, but the farther to the... So here are the controls in the back with the Soulmate turned around. Um, it's more open to the right, and more close to the left, so generally just keep it in the center. And here is the the stage for the Soulmate. And on the stage is a centering target, which is good to have. It has a XY axis on the center, which is good to use before you put your actual slide on, so you can get the center of the stage in focus with the camera above. It's held together by two spring clips um, which just pop out and if you take the stage off you can see there's um, a circular glass pane um, on the stage like a microscope and there are four different um, mounting holes that you can put the spring clips in either here here or here whatever is um, turns out best to keep your slide secure you can adjust the, the position of the stage here. It is lined up um, with the internal mirror of the soulmate. And at the furthest uh, right end of the soulmate is the mirror tilt knob. So the mirror tilt knob adjusts the internal mirror of the soulmate. And when um, these two black uh, tick marks are lined up. The internal mirror is positioned at a 45 degree angle which will point the light directly up through the specimen. So here I have live view open in the cam lift controller um, to find the center of the stage. I'm using that centering target 
So when I find um, a plus sign come into view, I know I have the center of the stage in focus with the camera. So now you see an X and it's in focus. So I'm just going to move the entire soulmate so that the center of the plus is in the center of the field of view. So that's pretty much um, centered. So now we can take the centering target off and put the microscope slide on. All right, so I've taken three different images for um, of the slide specimen using the soulmate. And so this one, both the aperture and light intensity controls are quite open. Um, and you can see that the specimen is way overexposed and you really don't get much detail. Um, here's one with the aperture and intensity controls closer to the center and you can see actual um, the um, hairs on the body and um, more detail but um, still parts of the um, specimen are overexposed and you can't see them. And here is uh, an image with the aperture and light intensity just a bit more um, on the closed side and you get a lot more detail and those parts aren't nearly as overexposed. So it's just a lot of fine tuning with the soulmate 